Boeing's first widebody was the 747, also known as the Queen of the Skies. Boeing's most popular twin-engine widebody, the 777, has been a favorite among airlines for decades. But how do these two aircraft compare? Does the 747's massive capacity enough to offset its high fuel consumption? Stay tuned to see the 747-8 and a 777X go head to head. Before I dive straight into this comparison, consider subscribing to my channel. Over 90% of you are not, and all you have to do is click that red subscribe button below. Expect more great and authentic aviation content uploaded weekly. The 747 was a revolutionary aircraft for its time, the first being delivered to the first customer in 1970. It was a major step for the aviation industry as a whole. While there have been many 747 variants made, we'll be comparing the 747-8, the newest Boeing 747 variant. The 777 is Boeing's most popular widebody, with over 1,600 orders. Boeing launched the newest 777, the 777-9, in 2013, with its first flight taking place just earlier this year. Boeing claims that the 777-9 can easily be the new jumbo jet. Is this a fact? Let's go through some categories to determine which aircraft is superior. The first category we will jump into is the aircraft's capacity and range. The 747-8 can carry 410 passengers in a typical free class layout. It'll fly for 15,000 kilometers before it needs to refuel. The 777-9, the larger 777X variant, will carry 349 passengers in a typical free class layout. It has a range of 13,940 kilometers. The 747 can typically carry 60 more passengers, 1,000 more kilometers than the 777-9. The 747 can obviously take many more passengers further. It will, in turn, have a larger premium cabin with more first class and or business class seats. One interesting thing to note is the aircraft's cargo capacity. Both have space to take extra cargo containers underneath the deck. At least surprisingly for me, the 777-9 has more cargo capacity than the 747, with over 8,000 cubic feet of cargo space. The 747 does have a higher takeoff weight limit, however, at almost 1 million pounds. But what about their cabins? Which aircraft has a more spacious and luxurious cabin? Well, the 777-9 has Boeing's newest sky interior, with mood lighting, bigger windows, bigger overhead bins, a wider cabin, and much more. The economy seats in a 10 abreast configuration could be 18 inches wide. Whether all airlines will offer this configuration, however, is unknown. The 747-8 also has Boeing's sky interior, most of the same features will be in the interior, with the obvious exception that the 747-8 will be older and less modern when the 777-9 finally comes out for commercial service. The seat width, however, is much less. Lufthansa, one of the most prominent 747-8 carriers, equips their 747s with just 17.3 inches of width in economy. The 777-9 definitely seems to have a better cabin of the two, with wider seats standard. This can also change with the airlines, though, as they can change the design with seat width and configuration. But it all comes down to the aircraft's efficiency and operating costs. This one seems obvious with the 777X having two engines, while the 747 has four. The 747 is advertised by Boeing to cost about $13,450 an hour for a total operating cost including fuel, water, and other factors. The 777-9 does not have such numbers just yet, as it is not yet commercially flying, but we will look at its older brothers to give us some idea of what it would cost. The 777-300ER costs 10250 dollars an hour, 
the 777-9 boasts between 12 to 15 percent less than the planes it replaces, so we can estimate it will most definitely cost less to operate than the 747. It seems it will cost between three to five thousand dollars more per hour to run. But which airlines have ordered these two, and which has more orders? Well, the 777X program has accumulated 309 total orders, with its biggest customer being Emirates, with 115 of the aircraft being ordered by the carrier. The 747-8 passenger variant has only 47 orders, with its biggest customer being Lufthansa, having 19 orders already having all been delivered. It seems that the 777X is definitely more popular. The age of four engine aircraft seems to be coming to an end. The 747 had its golden era, but it is now letting more capable twin jets like the 777 take its role. But does the 777 take the new role as the jumbo jet, like Boeing boasts? While the performance and capabilities might be similar, I think the 777-9 cannot be described as a jumbo jet. It is certainly more capable, but the 747 replacement? I think not. I believe aviation does not need a direct replacement for the 747 or the A380. Smaller, wide bodies seem to be the future of aviation and travel in general. What do you believe? Is this 777-9 a jumbo jet? Let me know down in the comments below. Before you go, if you like this kind of aviation content, consider subscribing to my channel. More incredible content weekly is scheduled in the future. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. That is it for this video, I'll see you in the next.